are sitting here waiting for our buses to go to Plymouth Plantation. And I'm very sure that everyone is very exciting, uh, excited to go. I see all these smiles across the faces. Someone is knocking at the door. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Churchill. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> my picture. Mark Sherman. Mark, how excited are you to go to the Plymouth Plantation? I'm very excited, Rob. I'm looking very forward to going because I want to go and miss school. Well, that's really very exciting, Mark. And I'm glad you were so excited because that really excites me when I'm excited, when you're excited. <laughs> this is Rob Martin. This is the bus, which we are going to take down to Plymouth Plantation for the Coral Team field trip. We are now at Plymouth Plantation. As you see behind me, it is a very broad and joyous resort. Uh, we go right down inside. Entrance to Plymouth Plantation, lining up to enter this wondrous resort. Here we are in the auditorium to see an orientational film as to life at Plymouth Plantation. Please don't get up in the dark, please. For entering the site of the original Plymouth Plantation, as you see behind me, it is, it is just like it was hundreds of years ago. Come on! Here we are at the back of Plymouth Plantation, and here you will see the whole plantation stretching out before you. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I'll answer any questions that anyone has to ask. I'm what is this? Could you explain it to us? Uh, this will be sawn up into planks, thick planks. What for some joinery work to make benches out of for a meeting house? Oh, a meeting house? I. Um, what's the pit for? Well, the pit. Uh, it's a sawing pit. A very common thing. Uh, it is a two-man saw, and one man must be beneath the timber to be sawn. It can be done either by to, to dig a to dig a pit such as this and to have a man down in the pit, so or else you can raise the timber up into the air upon trestles. But this is easier for you. If you pick up one end of this, you'll know it well to be much more heavier than you'd wish to lift eight feet up into the air. A two-man job. <laughs> Ready? Here behind me is an example of one of the houses here in Plymouth Plantation. Let's go inside. <laughs> um, this is uh, her cradle, her bed. And see, there's a fire brewing. And can I ask you, uh, how it was when you came over here? Well, I came here in the year 1621 in a ship called the Fortune. It was just six years ago, this month, that we arrived here. We were told that we would find a fine village here, and in truth, there were only half a dozen houses and very little else at the time. So it was not exactly what we were expecting. Uh, but it had been uh, 12 months since the time the first ship came, and no other ship had come between ours, the Fortune, and that first one, the Mayflower, and so that they needed of clothes and other supplies. But we ourselves had been told we could buy those things here but of course they weren't here except what we brought, and so that made a great shortage for everyone. So the first year I was here was a time of great shortage. The first year they had a shortage of houses, but after that, next year, with so many else arriving, we had a shortage of food. Here we are watching one of the pilgrims pluck their turkey for their Thanksgiving feast. Excuse me, could you tell me how long it takes you to pluck this turkey? I know not, till, till it's done. Butter. Excuse me. Also, um, most of them are grown for medicinal purposes, such things as yarrow, angelica, clary. garden where they are growing many wonderful vegetables for use in the home. They have what's this? Uh, 
Well, they look like weeds, but I doubt they are. And over here, we have a rooster. Mr. Rooster, do you mind if we ask you some questions? Roof of a hut. <laughs> Built pretty from straw and very thick to hold the rain in, out, I mean. And chimney, fence. They're talking about... Looking at the large herd of bison in the stables. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>